So it seems as though there is a trouble between Sony and Bungie, according to a couple different reports, which is crazy to say the very least, man. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I think it was yesterday at the time of recording this, uh, Bungie had their Into the Light uh, stream. It seems maybe a little bit of uh, an underwhelming reception from most people. You guys can let me know in the comments, though, if you did watch the stream. What do you think about it? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Do, uh, do you feel like it was underwhelming? Where are you sitting with the, with the whole stream? Uh, we have the uh, Guardian Games uh, All-Stars are calling it is coming to uh, all players March 5th to March 26th. Uh, it says so that's actually uh, technically out right now actually yeah my bad anyways so this is what we got going on we got a, a reddit post and we got a couple other things we got like another thing to uh discuss as well uh coming from ign so this first thing is from reddit <clears throat> i'll throw it up on screen you guys can take a look at it uh so this is this says popular destiny 2 content creator um art across or no sorry not art across as to cross I'm, I'm bad at names and I, i'm i butcher names that's what i do uh shares an anonymous email he received recently uh, detailing the major internal leadership conflict between sony and bungie and again, you can see a little bit of the email. I mean, typically you would think, oh, you know, so it's anonymous. So, uh, you know, how much weight does this really hold? But it basically goes on to say that the internal perspective of Sony is very negative towards Bungie is what they're essentially, um, you know, kind of expressing and that it's seen as a failed investment and strategies are being discussed uh, and revolve more around uh, recouping losses. <laughs> so it doesn't seem it doesn't seem good. Um, you know, one of the person's perspective there is that uh, there are many uh, gluttonous executives at Bungie who are not doing their jobs and are hindering the organization. I mean, it's possible, I guess, you know, I don't know. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff going on over there, right? So again, you can you can read the whole thing, you pause the video and read the whole thing. I'm not going to go into every single detail. I'm not going to read every single line, but you get the kind of gist of it uh, right there. But then there was another post. Uh, this one's actually coming from IGN. And this, one, this is where things kind of add a little bit of kind of, you know, a little bit of meat and weight to this. And this is what it says. Throw it on the screen. Again, from IGN. <clears throat> says, According to multiple sources familiar with the matter, Bungie is in the midst of shifting around its creative leaderships, uh, leaderships, excuse me, on marathons. This is not specifically for Destiny, but it's still related to Bungie. Uh, including removing longtime Bungie designer Christopher Barrett from the game director role, which is, I mean, that's that's a big, big move. Uh, if true, IGN learned he is being replaced by former Valorant game director Joe uh, Ziegler, if I'm pronouncing his name right, who left Riot Games for Bungie in 2022. IGN has reached out to Bungie for comment on whether or not Barrett will remain with the company. Bungie has not responded uh, to IGN's request for comment, but shortly after we reached out, uh, Ziegler, Ziegler, however you say his name, confirmed his uh, appointment uh, as game director on X slash Twitter, who said for the last nine months, I've been working on marathon as the game director. He wrote, we're still baking, but I'm excited to see, uh, as sorry to share with, uh, with you more info on the game as we get closer and closer to bringing it all, uh, bring it to you, to all of you and quote. So uh, again, it seems like that, that in and of itself is weird, right? They're, they're shifting things around in terms of leadership and that's never a good sign. And so that itself kind of, you know, makes you wonder if, if, if the, um, it's kind of a, a sign that that anonymous email that we you know we read from the Reddit post is, it might hold a lot more weight than we think. Um, and that's, that's an issue. That's a problem because I mean, again, you know, obviously we had Activision who had bought, you know, Bungie, there was a bunch of problems there. There was a lot of problems. Bungie went independent again. And, you know, Destiny, I think, flourished a lot more. Um, you know, it took a lot of time to kind of, you know, fix some some issues. But they were, you know, fixing a lot of stuff that, that was wrong at the beginning of Destiny 2. That, you know, <laughs> that said, Destiny's still not where it should be. But I think that's kind of the whole point of the acquisition with, with Sony and PlayStation, right? Is they went through with that. They thought, you know, we could use the resources, you know, being part of PlayStation Studios. Um, Sony bought Bungie and it's just been kind of weird ever since. Ever since that happened, there's been layoffs within Bungie, within PlayStation. There's been, you know, the delay of, of um, Lightfall. Uh, no, sorry, not Lightfall, the final shape, I mean. Uh, you know, so we got the, the final shape that, that got pushed off to June, uh, which is, should be in a couple months unless it gets pushed off again. There's a lot of weird things going on within Sony, within Bungie. 
and just not sure what to make of it at all. So I don't know. Wanted to let you guys know about this. Wanted to get your guys' thoughts on it. What, what do you What do you think uh, of it all? I, I really hope they can figure something out, man, because it'd be a shame to see you know Destiny just kind of completely fall apart, um, and that they just you know just they just kind of let it go, and and it just you know it just becomes one of those games that end up just tanking completely, and it never it just ceases to be, uh, and it'd be disappointing because the game has been really solid, and I think there's been a lot of you know great aspects of it, especially you know with the first game. And it would just be very, very, very disappointing to, to, to see them, you know, miss the potential that they have. Because I don't think they've ever reached their full potential with, with this universe and with this game. Uh, I think Destiny 1 was was prime. I think they, you know, messed up with Destiny 2. I think a lot of that was probably Activision. And I think they could do much, much, much better if they can just finally get their footing. And uh, I don't know. I, I just hope I just hope there's more after uh, the final shape. You know, they, they said there were supposed to be. But kind of getting nervous that this is going to be the end now at this point. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below uh, about all this whole thing and, and what you guys think uh, of the future of Destiny and of Bungie, right? Obviously, like we're, we're not just talking Destiny. We're talking obviously, obviously Marathon as well, which is um, involved in this. And Bungie has other projects as well, apparently, they've been working on. So I guess time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, uh, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys soon in another one. Tell them, friends. Game on. See you guys later. Hey you! What are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army! Do it today! Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow might never come. The Earth is gonna fade, that's inevitable. The next second of your life's not even promised, so you better think about where you're going, and you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kinda like you a little bit, so it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later!